The 5th of December 1966 saw the opening of Germany's longest steel bridge. It crosses the Ruhr Valley, taking travelers to Essen. A few months later, Essen Cancer Hospital opened its doors here in the heart of the Ruhr conurbation. As the process of deindustrialization changed the face of the Ruhr, the hospital has developed into a comprehensive cancer center, recognized as an oncology center of excellence and responsible for over 5 million citizens. In recent years, our team has really grown together, and we've got a great many highly motivated, committed staff in both the medical and support disciplines, all working hand in hand for the benefit of our patients. My enduring impression, and I'm in a good position to judge, is that a great deal of thought goes into choosing the right people for the job here. In that sense, there's a lot of warmth here, and you get the feeling you're being taken seriously as an individual. With its institutes and medical departments, the center is making a major contribution to research into professional diagnosis and treatment. The aim is to get results out of the labs faster and into everyday use, helping us develop precisely the right treatment for your needs. Because my chemotherapy was made to measure and also included some cortisone, I got through the radiation and chemo with no side effects whatsoever. We examine tumors for characteristics which help us pinpoint the very best treatment plan for the patient's individual needs. We offer many of these medications within the context of clinical trials. These research projects aim to improve even further the way we treat patients with advanced cancers. Important findings which reach wider professional audiences thanks to on-the-job training and collaborations. For several years now, the center has been offering a modern, highly effective method of treatment which is very easy on the patient, proton therapy. Patients usually feel nothing at all with this treatment. There's no pain, no burning sensation, no noise or heat. The only thing they usually notice during treatment is that they feel a little tired because the body's having to deal with this radiotherapy, effectively repairing the results. That's really important, so we're delighted when patients say they're a bit drowsy because it's good that the body's cooperating and because the patient sees that this is an intensive treatment, something they want us to do for them. But it's also down to this team, you know. The first time you have the mask put on, it's quite stiff and it really presses on you. But they explain every step along the way, so you're not just lying there helpless for 35 minutes. But every movement, whether the table's being moved or whatever, they're like, you'll hear some noises now. They really put me at my ease, especially the first time. It's awkward to start with, but by explaining it all to you, well, everything's okay. For a long time now, minimally invasive operations have been very successful, often using robots. This offers the prospect of a faster recovery and much more besides. Patients benefit from this type of surgery because there's a great deal less risk, less stresses and strains, and even lower mortality rates than with open surgery. The WTZ is one of Germany's largest cancer centers with 14 specialized clinical treatment programs for over 30,000 patients a year who want to receive excellent treatment, be well cared for, and supported at every stage of the disease. If any acquaintance of mine were to say, listen, I've got cancer, what do you reckon I should do? I'd just say, WTZ Essen, get yourself an appointment and let them have a look at you. It's the best thing you can do. Top medical care with a human touch, passion for innovation and compassion for people.